In this training, we're going to be talking about multi-factor authentication. Here's the traditional way you log into your bank account. You enter your username and that familiar password you probably use for most of your online accounts. Then you're in. You can now go about your business. Not so fast. If you're one of the 54% of consumers who, according to Telesign, use five or fewer passwords for all of their online accounts, you could create a domino effect that allows hackers to take down multiple accounts just by cracking one password. The good news, there's an easy way to better protect your accounts, which contain a lot of personal and organizational information with multi-factor authentication. You may have heard of the term multi-factor authentication or MFA for short, also referred to as two-step or two-factor authentication. What is multi-factor authentication? Multi-factor authentication is used to ensure that digital users are who they say they are by requiring that they provide at least two pieces of evidence to prove their identity. It combines something you know with something you have or something you are. Something you know might be a password or PIN. Something you have might be a badge or your smartphone. Something you are might be a biometric, like fingerprints, face, or voice recognition. You may not realize it, but you use MFA anytime you've accessed an ATM or purchase items with your debit card at a store. You are combining something you know, your debit PIN number, with something you are in possession of, your debit card itself. You can apply the same concepts to your online accounts. Instead of using just your password to sign into your Microsoft and Google accounts, you can make sure your account is more secure by adding a second factor, like your cell phone, and prove you are really the one trying to access your accounts. In the event a hacker acquires your password, they would still need your cell phone in order to gain successful entry into your accounts. To help illustrate why this is important, here's a map of hackers trying to sign into Modesto City Schools accounts during a single day. And this was during COVID travel restrictions when none of our employees were traveling internationally. Now that you've seen this video, we hope you have a better understanding of multi-factor authentication and how it can protect your data. Thank you for watching.